Do you struggle with writing essays or emails like I do, only to end up procrastinating and getting subpar results? Well, ChatGPT is an AI-powered chatbot that can do all of these things for you, and it is about to change everything. If this is your first time hearing about it, you will soon realize that everyone will know about this AI. So let's jump into five ways that ChatGPT can help with tedious daily tasks and change the way you do almost everything. The first way that you can use ChatGPT is to have it write and respond to emails. All you have to do is write in the chat what you want it to make the email about, and it will draft up an entire email based on the information that you give it within seconds. If you want it to respond back to an email, you can just copy and paste the entire email into the chat box and ask it to reply, and it will. One thing that I did notice is that sometimes the chat bot can be a little formal, which is a good thing for work emails, but if you want it a little less formal, you can literally just ask it to rewrite the same email in a more casual way, and it will do that. It can also respond to YouTube comments. So if you guys leave any comments on this video, I'm going to respond to it with ChatGPT. The second way that ChatGPT can help with your tedious daily tasks is writing essays or articles, or it can also summarize pre-existing essays and articles for you instead. To write an essay or article, you simply tell it what you want to write about and if there are any main points that you would like to include, and it will just write it for you. You can specify how long or short you would like it to be, and it will adjust it to fill the desired length. In this example, I asked ChatGPT to write me a 500 word essay about self-driving cars, and it wrote it very well. The third way you guys could use ChatGPT is as a search engine, but better because it remembers all of your past conversations and uses that information to give you better responses back. Ever since I started using ChatGPT, I have found myself using Google less and less each day. It can't answer any extremely specific questions because it isn't connected to the internet and it only has information from before 2021. So it doesn't know about current events, but I think that's probably for the best. Fourth way that you could use ChatGPT is as a personal coach for learning a new skill. If you wanna learn how to make an app or learn a difficult subject for school, the bot could be your personal tutor in basically any subject. Again, since it knows what you were previously talking about in the conversation, it can actually guide you through the entire process of learning something. The only thing that makes this a little difficult currently is that when you refresh the page, the AI loses the information of what you guys talked about in the past, but I assume that in the future they might add the ability to save threads and save them to your own personal account. So that way you could just switch to your account for learning programming and then back to a different one for research. The fifth way that we could use this bot is to create content. You can tell it to write blog posts or even write scripts for YouTube videos. I gave ChatGPT this prompt to make a YouTube script for me about a productivity concept I call output over input. I wasn't expecting much since this is a rather unique concept that I tried to look up on Google with no good results. But to my surprise, ChatGPT made me a script and it was actually pretty good. After the script was made, I asked ChatGPT to generate some titles for the video, but it was being a little stubborn and didn't want to choose one. So I had to implement some advanced interrogation techniques to get it to cooperate. I was so impressed with the script that it gave me. I actually recorded this video without making any changes to the script and the results are actually really impressive. And you can watch that here. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I will see you in the next one.